Welcome back to the Chronicles of Beard, folks. What are those wheaties? Wee toes. Wee toes. We can add that to the uh, list of foodstuffs that you eat. That's a new one. So we got uh, garlic bread, chips, bread, but only white bread, not brown bread. And now, wee toes. Anyway, today we're going to Sheffield to a place called Broncos Rodeo. Sounds uh, very American. And uh, we're going to be taking on an undefeated burger challenge. Yeah, I'm ready. So, How are you feeling? So only one person has done this right, and it was yeah, 30. only one person's like completely like 30, thirty-three minutes solid. Yeah. The board. Cool. Yeah, I'm ready when uh, whenever you are. Cool. Yeah, just start whenever you're ready. Thank cool. you. Cool. Good luck. <laughs> Howdy, you bunch of varmints. That's uh, that's pretty much the only old west speak I know. Anyway, welcome to tonight's video. Hope you're having a fantastic week. And I hope you've been looking forward to another episode of the Chronicles of Beard. I like the world's crunchiest onion rings. Yeah, don't take my word for it though, you can hear the crunch coming off those things. But uh, yeah, today we're at Broncos Rodeo, which as you can probably tell, is an old western themed bar slash eatery. And uh, we're doing their burger challenge, check out this nice sexy slow-mo shot, look at that. Delicious barbecue sauce just dripping off the side there. But yeah, we're taking on their burger challenge and this meal, you don't get it free if you win, but if you beat the existing record and you have the fastest time at the end of the month, I think you get 200 quid, 200 British pounds, right? Plus a cowboy hat, which is really the reason that I did it. Uh, but um, you might want to check those rules with the restaurant if you're planning on uh, participating because, you know, they're probably subject to change. But uh I thought it'd be cool to just swing by and give it a shot. And I said in the intro there that the uh, the food challenge was undefeated. I, that's because on the way there, I thought it hadn't been beaten. Um, but I guess in the past week or so, somebody had actually managed to finish it. And uh, they did it in like 33 minutes or something like that. But uh, if you want to take a shot at this, it's actually very doable. The burger is about four pounds and I think about a pound of fries. So about five pounds all in. And... Um, it looks kind of small, but it's all really densely packed in there, so it actually turned out to be a little bit harder than I thought it would be. This always seems to happen to me. I picked a quiet area of the restaurant, and somebody sits in the background. What are you going to do? <laughs> yeah, this is a chicken breast. As I suspected, yeah, the award for most obvious statement of the week goes to... It's clearly chicken breast. But yeah, this thing is topped with a bunch of different meats, chicken breast, there's some fried chicken in there, beef patties, uh, bacon, hot links. My god, is that a salad under there? That wasn't part of the deal. Yeah, but a little bit of greenery ain't gonna hurt. Is it quite the opposite? It's important to get the requisite amount of fibre in your diet when you eat like this, just to uh, protect your colon, you only get one. <laughs> and you can probably see by the grimacing on my face, this meat was a little bit tougher than I expected. I guess this is fried chicken. I just keep stating really obvious things today. Of course that's fried chicken. I suppose it could have been a schnitzel. It was pretty flat, but it, uh, it turned out to be chicken. <coughs> you ate the skewer? Yeah, a lot of people think I've got an insatiable appetite, but even I draw the line at wood. Yeah. 
So as you can see, I got most of the meat down now, and uh, the meal was actually pretty good. The the barbecue sauce was uh, was really high quality. Normally, I would expect at a place like this, perhaps slightly cheaper barbecue sauce, but uh, it was really good. And the hot links were a nice addition. A bit of a weird topping for a burger, but the uh, you know the real genuine barbecue sausages tasted good. The meat, you know, the chicken and the the burger patties, they were a little tough, so it was kind of tricky to eat, but. We have plenty of time to play with, right? So, got there in the end. <coughs> anyway, as I take the final few bites here, don't go anywhere, because we're about to take a ride on the mechanical bull. I think I'm done. Does that count? Just a few crumbs on the table. But... Good heavens. <laughs> I'm impressed. Thank wow. you, I think. <laughs> you can just paint it. You hear that as a loud bang. Let's take that away from you. Before you yeah, eat sure. up here as well. <laughs> Try to excuse us. Well. <laughs> it's close. Oh no. I don't know what the. Normally I'd say a five second rule, but it could have been down there for like 25 seconds. Oh, probably like 11 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> could, have, could have been down there from the start, yeah. So you get a, a free hat if you complete the meal. Look, I went with the, the pink one with a nice tiara on the front. <laughs> Thank you very much. It'll really suit you. <laughs> but I'm glad. Right, so I just finished the meal, but um, if I get on this thing, after eating all that meat, it's gonna look like the scene of some kind of dirty protest. So Mrs. Beard is gonna get on the, uh, if you can see there, they've got like a bucking bronco, see how long she can last on the bronco. I've never seen you do reverse cowgirl like that at home. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never see it again. Lude. <laughs> <laughs>